I can't wait for you to see the rustic primitive projects I have for you today. I made up some labels and I have some raw wood projects and I am so excited to get started. So let's jump into this. Welcome to Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. I found these three cardboard boxes for $2 at Goodwill recently and they were all together so I decided I would grab them and then I decided I wanted to make up my own little labels and tags for my projects. So I went to work figuring out what I wanted to put on them and started creating. I was gonna go with just four different labels and then I just got going and I created six labels. So I'm going to put those on my Etsy shop for you to purchase. It will be a digital download and they are perfect for a small jar or uh, anything that you can find that you wanna stick them on. So first I'm going to take my lids, all three of them, and I'm going to take some uh, antique wax and just wax or stain the top of the uh, of the boxes. Now I went to Dollar Tree recently and I looked at their little boxes. These are a little bit taller than what the uh, Dollar Tree has so they're from somewhere else and I'm not really sure but for two dollars I thought that's a great deal for three little boxes. So I took my first label and I'm gonna just put some Mod Podge on it and then stick it on to my first box. I'm not gonna paint any of these. I like the color, it's a light mustard color and I really like the color of it. And I'm just gonna enhance it with just some paint and just some distressing. I'm going to take some of my distressing spray and spray the labels and make those look antique and old. So I just give it a little quick burst of some spray and I found that the best thing to do is like tamp it off with a cloth or a towel and do it gently and try not to rub too much. I tamp it and if you rub it tends to rip the paper because it's wet and it also will smudge the ink if it's from your printer. These were printed on regular printer paper. And um, so it's just regular, plain old printer paper you get in the store. And then uh, there's nothing special for the ink, it's just regular printer ink. I think I have an inkjet printer. And if I were to rub on the ink, it would, it would just kind of smear the ink and rip the paper if I, push too hard on it. So I like to just kind of tamp it and then let it dry a little. And if I want it darker, then I do it again. So I'm just taking a brush with some black paint on it and going around the edges to highlight them and to give them a just kind of an old aged look with a little bit of black paint. And then I just go over all of them gently like a dry brush just to leave some paint in certain spots. And I also did the top as well. I don't think I showed it here, but I did, I went in all different directions and just a light black dry brush on them. And then I'm doing it on the box as well. I just go lightly at first and then I can adjust how much I wanna put on after. If I wanna do it heavier, I can, but it's hard to take it away if you put it on. So go over the label a little bit. I want this to be aged. It's a good way to give a distressed look without using sandpaper and distressing it, which you could do as well, but because this is cardboard, I don't think it would work as well. So now I'm going a little bit heavier with the paint. As you can see, it's a little bit more black. I want it a little bit more distressed. 
and I go a little bit uh, around the edges of the label as well to give it a more uh, aged look. Now I'm going to coat all three of them with Mod Podge to seal them in and make sure that I go around the edges to keep them from coming up. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but you never know. This one, I this other label I did a little bit differently. I'm just taking a brush with a little bit of antique wax on it, and I'm just kind of going around the edges and giving that a dark, a, just a darker, I go from dark around the edges and in towards the crow and make that a little bit lighter. So um, I, I just did that with the antique wax straight from the bottle. And then I will go around it with some black paint as well. I'll show you in just a second. That will come up and you can see how I did that. I just kind of brushed it on. And then again, just lightly go across it. And you can get darker as you go, but like I said, you can't take it away. So you wanna do it lightly first and then add as you go along. I was thrilled to find this raw wood box from a thrift store recently. I paid a couple dollars for it and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but I brought it home and decided I'm going to stain it with my antique wax first. Um, uh, it's a real skinny recipe box. It's very, it's not like a deep one. Um, like I've found in the past, it's a different shape, but I really like it. So we're gonna try and do something fun with it using my labels. I always love the beautiful brown color that you get from the antique wax. It's just a warm, inviting color, and I just love using it as a base for anything that I'm going to paint that uh, I may distress back, or it just enhances a lot of my projects. So I'm just gonna go over the whole box along with the lip on the inside. I do not do the whole inside, just the lip, and I'm gonna I just wipe that, uh, brush that on, and then I wipe it back off. I adjusted the size on this old Homestead Pantry Goods label that I made. I wanted it just a little bit bigger for this box, and I think it fits just perfectly. So I'm taking the edges and I'm ripping them to give them a worn look, and so it's not just a stark, straight line across the whole thing. And Mod Podge on the back of it and then I'm just gonna put it in the center of my recipe box and just rubbing it down with my finger and then I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit because I am going to distress it and I think it's better if it's dry from the Mod Podge before I do that. These darker lines on the side of the box gave me an idea and I thought I would try it. I looked some boxes up on Pinterest and I thought that I would give this a try. I wanna make this look like that there's black iron around the edges. So I'm gonna just use paint and I'm going to tape it off so I don't get it on anywhere that I don't want it, which with me painting, you never know where it's gonna end up. So I'm just gonna tape it off with this painter's tape and I'm just gonna do the corners and then the edge on the top. I'll cut the tape back and then I will show you how I did that. So now we'll remove the tape and you'll see what I was talking about. See, I did both sides, just the corners and the edges, and then I'll go back and distress it. So I went and did the other side 
And now I'm going to take that same paintbrush because it has paint on it. And I'm just going to dry it off a little bit on a towel and just wipe it on the edges to give that a distressed look as well. Just kind of blend in that black paint um, on the edges. And then here I'm just taking some sandpaper and sanding down where I painted to give it a worn look. Um, it didn't come back a lot, but it definitely looks a lot less stark black. So now I'm just taking my distressing spray. Now you could use antique wax or whatever you have on hand that you use to distress with. And I, again, spray just a little bit on and then I just kind of uh, tap it off and get what I can for, because it puddles, so I wanna get what I can off so that it doesn't totally soak the paper. And then I'll just go back and keep reapplying until I'm happy with the distressed look that it has. And I just keep going back and forth with it and just spraying and then wiping it back. And then now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I am have some black paint on it and I'm just going around the edges. Again, it just kind of doing the black around the edges and then going in lighter in the middle uh, towards the writing and stuff in the middle. I think this gives it a worn aged look as well. course once I get it the way I want it I take the Mod Podge and go over the front of the label to make sure that it stays down and is easy to clean. I found this sweet little basket from in my stash and it's just a natural basket. So I'm going to take my mix of antique wax with a little bit of black paint mixed in with it. It's just a dab and I am gonna brush it all on. I love the way this looks. It gives it a dark stained look and then the black will sit down in those crevices and in the lines and it just gives it such depth and dimension. I just love using this. And it's really easy to make. Again, antique wax. I use the whole jar and make a whole big bottle of uh, container of it when I do it. And see how that looks. It just looks so cool. So there we go. It's messy, but it looks really great. So I'm going to take the old Candle Mill Company label that I made and add some Mod Podge to the back of it. And we're gonna stick it onto the front of this cute little basket. Then I'm gonna rub it down really nicely so it sits down into that basket. And I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper and lightly sand it. I wanted to try and see if it would work. It really just started to rip it. And this was after I let it dry for a little bit. So I just did a, a little bit to give it an aged look. And then I'm just gonna go around it with some of the uh, antique wax with black paint. That's just whatever was left on my brush. And I wiped a lot of it off, just giving it, just so it would the edges would blend in with the basket. And again, taking my distressing spray and going over it to give it an aged look. I really love how this little basket came out. Of course, I love, using this wax and paint mixture. It looks so great. Once I got the distressing on the label the way I like it, I, I sealed it with Mod Podge and a little bit of decorating and it's done.
hope you enjoyed my projects today. Don't forget, go down in the description box below and you'll find the link to my Etsy shop so you can get some of these awesome labels to make your own rustic primitive decor. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell. That'll notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.